TikTok will soon be banned in the US if it's not sold to a US company. What options are available to the app right now? Well, the app really only has two options going forward. First, it can sell itself uh, to a US company. Right now it's in negotiations with Microsoft. And there are two options there. It can either sell its US holdings or its entire business. Um, it sounds like right now anything is on the table. The other option, if it doesn't uh, choose to sell its US holdings, is to uh, be banned from the market. Um, I think the US government has not actually done this before, and there may be some challenges in implementation, but uh, it does appear to be the US government's intention to fully ban the app if it's not sold by September 15th. Now, Beijing has not been quiet about this. The Chinese foreign ministry has come out and said it's a blatant act of bullying. Some call it a smash and grab, that it's robbery. What countermeasures do we expect to see from Beijing? Beijing has two conflicting interests here. So I think for the time being, Beijing's response will be fairly muted. Um, on the one hand, this is uh, unprecedented on the US side. So it would not be surprising if Beijing feels the urge to retaliate. That being said, Beijing has also expressed interest in keeping foreign investment in the, com in the country. Uh, both Li Keqiang and President Xi Jinping have recently been very solicitous of foreign businesses in the country. So um, it would be difficult, I think, for Beijing to retaliate against a U.S. company at this time without causing a lot of uh, problems longer term. That being said, I don't think that Beijing will retaliate directly on this issue. Um, Beijing has been retaliating against U.S. government actions against uh, the Chinese government or media so far. For example, um, when the U.S. government closed the Chinese consulate in Houston, um, the Chinese government closed the U.S. consulate in Chengdu very quickly afterwards. Uh, the same with uh, banning media in each country. When the U.S. cut the number of reporters uh, allowed in the U.S. from China, China reciprocated. Uh, that being said, on issues that affect businesses, I do think Beijing has been slightly more calibrated. Uh, we've seen this on export controls to a certain extent. Uh, the Beijing government has uh, discussed an unreliable entities list for over a year now, and that has yet to appear. That list was first mentioned um, in response to the U.S. putting um, Huawei on the entity list in the spring of 2019. Uh, but so far, the Chinese government has not retaliated on that. And I think we'd see a similar response here. I think that uh, Beijing views uh, the U.S. business community as an ally uh, in keeping the relationship stable. So I think it's unlikely that Beijing would choose to retaliate against a U.S. business at this time. Now, President Trump could further ban the Chinese app WeChat. What kind of disruption would this cause for both sides? On the U.S. side, this is really going to impact uh, people in America who have connections with people in China. Um, I personally personally use WeChat to get in touch with my friends in China. Uh, there's a large Chinese American and Chinese community in the US that will have a really tough time reaching out to their uh, friends and colleagues in, in China if WeChat is banned here. Uh, I also think that for US companies in China, this could be uh, potentially a very large deal. It'll very much depend on how the Secretary of Commerce, uh, Wilbur Ross, interprets um, the, the transaction for, for WeChat, but it, this potentially could mean that uh, companies like Apple could, would have to block WeChat from being downloaded onto their phones. Um, I think that that could have a really bad impact on, on Apple sales in China. Um, having lived in China for several years, it's very difficult to operate in China without WeChat. Um, so I, I can't imagine Chinese consumers would be interested in purchasing a phone that would not allow them to use that app. Um, mm. it, just, just to clarify, um, WeChat does, it is almost, it's a super app. I mean, it's, it, you chat with people, you can buy things. You actually need it to travel in China right now if you uh, want to confirm to local authorities that you are uh, free to, to travel because of coronavirus. It's, it's a foundational app in China. And if uh, US companies are not allowed to interact with it, I think it will really negatively affect their ability to work in the market. What precedence is set when a social media app is banned due to its country of origin and how will this affect other tech companies around the world? So I think this is unprecedented on the US side. I don't think we've ever done this before where we have uh, removed a, a, an app from the US market. Um, this applies both to TikTok and WeChat. I think that the, the precedent is disturbing. Um, I think it will potentially have serious blowback on U.S. companies in China over the long term. Um, this basically creates a new norm uh, where we've nationalized the technology sector. 
And, uh, you know, short term, that may not be a huge issue, but over the long term, this gives Beijing uh, a new tool in its toolbox to deal with uh, U.S. companies in its own industry. Admittedly, there are not a lot of U.S. companies, uh, U.S. apps in China. Uh, the Chinese government has banned most of the very popular U.S. apps over the last 10 to 15 years. That being said, there are a lot of U.S. businesses that are working in um, the technology sector in China. We have a lot of companies in cloud computing and storage. Uh, there's a lot of cooperation on semiconductors still. Um, so there are, there are definitely companies, uh, U.S. companies, that could potentially be impacted by this over the long term. That, of course, leads me to the big question. How will this further escalate U.S.-China relations? I do think that uh, if this sale goes forward with TikTok or a ban is effective. Um, I do think this could sort of push the U.S. government forward on escalating its technology decoupling from China. Um, Secretary of State Pompeo just put out his clean network plan. Uh, it is unclear how that will be implemented. It's fairly unusual for a plan like this to come out of the State Department. At the same time, if, uh, if the administration feels successful in its endeavors uh, with TikTok and WeChat, we could see that plan be pushed forward a little bit more proactively. Rocky roads ahead for both sides in terms of trade, tech and culture. Thank you so much for your conversation. Thank you.